My first Tinder date left me in shame, and let me tell you why. So back when I was 19 and I haven't kissed a girl yet, uh, I hopped on Tinder. But I hopped on Tinder back when I was 18, nothing really occurred from it because I was a loser, just like I was when I was 19. I had kissed a girl prior to this one, for some reason every time the stars align for me and I actually get with a girl, it's multiple within a few months of each other and then nothing for like 7 years after that. So. I had kissed the first girl I've ever kissed, uh, literally a couple weeks prior to uh, this girl, that girl wrote me off, didn't want to see me anymore, found this new girl on Tinder, and it was the first girl off of Tinder that I've ever gotten with. So I drive to her college after asking her if she would like to make out. That was always my go-to line on Tinder, it was, would you like to make out? For some odd reason, these low standard women that had low enough standards to get with me said yeah sometimes. So I'd always go with it. I didn't know how else to start the conversation. What am I fucking supposed to say? Hey, what are you doing? We all know why we're fucking here. So I say that. She says, sure. And let me preference this. I sent her, would you like to make out the millisecond I matched with her, right? The millisecond. She doesn't respond for a day. Day later, she responds and says, sure. And I immediately, like there was not enough time for her to put her phone in her pocket. I immediately said, great, when are you free? The second. She said, tomorrow. I said, great, pull it up the next day. It was just like that. So I get to her college, right? I pick her up, everything's fine. We're chit-chatting. I ask her if she used to be a man. She said, no, all the usual things that you have on a Tinder date. We get to this location, right? We're at like a hilltop. We're playing music in my car, but the volume's all the way down because my music at the time was very questionable. So we know what's about to happen and she asks me, she says, do you want to play some music or something? And I say, it's probably not a good idea. And she goes, why? I turn up the volume. First thing that's playing is uh, fucking Victoria Justice's song, Freak the Freak Out from the show Victorious. He goes, Freak the Freak, yeah, that plays. And she starts laughing, I go, that's why. And then she goes, don't you have anything else? I go, yeah, sure, and I play something. And then we start kissing and immediately, Lil Wayne's song uh, comes on and it says, No ceilings, motherfucker, good moaning. Dick in your mouth while you're yawning. That's playing. And she starts laughing. I say, maybe you should play the music. So I give her the ox. She starts playing music. We get back to business. We're kissing in the front seat. Whatever. It's fine. Then she goes, let's go to the back seat. And my dumb ass goes, got a lot of stuff back there. We should probably just stay up here. She kisses me hard. And she goes, let's go to the back. And I go, still a lot of stuff back there and then she's like oh, okay i guess we could stay in the front and i'm like ah fuck and i get up i go clean out the fucking back seat of my car put everything in the trunk i wanted to freaking shoot myself right in there but she still stayed and we still did our thing in the back seat then after a couple hours of this shit uh we're both kind of fed up with it and we're done i go to start my car car doesn't start one of us i think it was me i i wouldn't doubt it if it was me because i had no fucking blood in my head Turned on the AC without leaving the engine running. Car battery died. I'm sitting there fucking upset and just helpless as a man. I have never been that helpless before. So I fucking, uh, I start trying to wave down cars that are passing by while she waits in the car. Holy shit. If you never been embarrassed by a girl, do that shit. Cause your dumb ass is out there trying to flag a car down that no one's stopping for. And she's just there looking at you and just judging you, texting your friend saying, oh my God, this is horrible, what just fucking happened? And then a cop rolls by. I don't even hesitate. I walk up to him, I say, look, man, I got a girl in the car, car battery fucking died. Can I please jump my car using your fucking car? Cop fucking says no, man. If there was ever a time to say fuck 12, it's not through all the bullshit that cops have done, it was this, it was fucking this, because that shit was bullshit, okay? And then she's like, can't you call AAA or something? I'm not going to waste the AAA car call on jumping a fucking battery. And I go, Don't, isn't the college right down here? Can you bring one of your friends over? I'll jump the car. She does that, brings a friend. I jump the car. Everything's fine. She goes back with her friends, right? I drive home in shame. But hey, still got to make out with a girl though. And I have not spoken to that girl really since that moment until the next rejection corner. Everybody get ready. She's coming on the show Anyway, boys, I will see you in the next one. That's it for me. Peace.